Well, we're uh, probably about half an hour away from uh, the new purchase now. It's getting quite exciting. Can you tell what it is yet? We're getting there, guys. So we're just taking a quick stop, letting the dog have a little mooch. And uh, yeah, the sun is shining. It is perfect weather for this. It really is perfect. So let's hope it stays like this. Right, let's get to her. Let's go and get her. Here is Veronica, our T2 Volkswagen van. This is S bought me a shirt ready for the occasion, which obviously you saw me wear right at the beginning. But she's home. It's been 100 miles, I think. Um, that's not to say there's no faults. It is a 50 year old van, but yeah, this is S told in the camera. It's, it's a bit of a grin factor vehicle to own. So I will just quickly wander you around the van now. I will do a proper walk around with what needs to be done. There's a few things that have arisen since driving it home. It's not really been used for a year or so. So. Um, it's quite hard to just throw a car into driving and stuff like that. But that being said, let's just kick off at the front. So it's a 71 van, so it's an old J plate. Um, this bonnet bra or bonnet cover, it's not even a bonnet, it's just a front panel. Um, it looks cool, but it's not for us. Um, and it's a little bit damaged in places, but we want to get behind it and do all the, the ginger dust kind of uh, work, all the rust. So we're going to get on with that. So at the front, we're kind of, I think we're going to paint the front panel, tidy it up take this off, put the Volkswagen badge back on. And that probably means taking the rear screen out at the same time. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be doing that. On down this side, it's quite a good side. There's a little bit of rust going through there, but it's an old Volkswagen. You can kind of rock that look. Um, in the back, it, it is converted and it is all electronic hookup. It is all kind of all there ready to go. Mrs. S is ready with all our ideas behind the camera to uh, get going with that. So it's really cool. This color, I believe is a Citroen color. It's not actually a Volkswagen color. It's cool. I do quite like it. Um, but when I get a bit more into the video, I'll show you the original color and that is probably where we'll go eventually with it. But for a good while, year 18 months, we'll rock it we're like this. Um, obviously you've got the white top. It's a tin top because this, if you know your Volkswagens, it is actually a commercial. So it's originally a panel van. Um, a lot of people saying, well, why don't you buy a proper camper? This is a proper on the logbook converted camper, but the panel van side of things for me, I love a van. I do really like a van. And for me, that whole side's solid. Um, it doesn't, it's quite stealth looking. And for what we want to do with merch van, stuff like that, it's going to be absolutely perfect for that. So I like the fact it's commercial. It's a little bit different, a little bit rare. Um, you will notice I've just got out the wrong side. So it is a left-hand drive. It is an import, I believe from Sweden, which is a bit odd, but we're going to get a Volkswagen certificate for it just because I'm a geek and I like that stuff. Um, Ray, the chap that owned it before me, um, I hope you don't mind me naming your name again, buddy. Um, it stacks of history. This car has been loved, or van has been loved. And um, 
it's a bit of a dream come true for us. We're, we're really, really happy with it. Um, so just quick walk around and then we'll wrap this video up. So down the side, obviously being commercial, it's not got a window there. It's only had the one putting on the door. Um, bit of rot here and there. One problem we found is this brake is locking on a little bit. It absolutely stinks. So round the back of it, obviously you've got the business end. You've got the murder in the back there. And then you obviously got the rear hatch, um, which snatches up really quick. Full of parts, which we'll delve into, roof rack and everything. But we'll get stuck into that properly in our video. Obviously stuff we really enjoy, which is rust. Um, so really, really happy with it. I'm not gonna lie. It's got a, we'll delve into the engine a bit more. The engine's quite special on this. It's kind of the reason I bought it. Um, I wanted an early bay. If I got a bay, if I ever thought I could afford a bay. Um, it's got the smaller rear lights. You know, it's got the lower front panel, the lower lights at the front and stuff like that. I just think it's a bit cooler. It's a bit more classic, a bit more retro. Um, the big lights, don't get me wrong, and the bay still look cool, but it's, um, yeah, a little bit, a bit different. And I kind of like, kind of like that about it. So we just spin around quickly to the driving store. Um, we've just got home of it, so we're kind of a bit eager. There's stickers, various stickers all over it. We're going to rock through and see what we want to keep. Um, obviously this side is nice and ready for Simpsons Classics logo maybe, something like that. But I do like the fact it's all like that. It needs a seal doing here and bits and pieces like that. So it does need tidying up. Um, but on the inside, yeah, the steering wheel's on the wrong side. Uh, it's got a fully retrimmed seat in the front here. Obviously being a cab, a van, it's got a, a, another bench seat there. But in the back, you'll see it's all converted. Like I say, we'll get properly stuck into that. And uh, yeah, it is really, really cool. I do really love it. Shop dog's jumping in because she already loves it. Uh, but yeah, really, really, yeah. It, it's a bit weird. It's a bit, it's a bit surreal. It's a, it is definitely a bit surreal. So thank you very much for watching. I thought I'd take you along for a bit of the walk around and a bit of the, the drive back. As you can probably tell, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, we do have a lot of work to do. <laughs> That's, yeah. There's a few things we need to do before we can get out and even enjoy it really, um, which I'm not disheartened about. We paid, I think, the right price for it, but anyone that knows their Volkswagen, and particularly the bays and the split screens, they demand the price because they're just, well, they're just cool. <laughs> and um, I'm now on board with all that. So one reason why I wanted a Volkswagen Bay is way back nine years ago, I had a VW T4. That went absolutely wrong. It was the worst vehicle I've ever owned. Um, it, we never got away in it. It just kept failing. It kept mucking around. And I always said, if I got another Volkswagen, it'd have to be a bay window. And that is what we bought. So warm welcome for Veronica to the channel, guys. I'm going to wrap this video up. So remember to go look at our sponsors. We've got Mini Mine, if you need classic minis, maybe one day get a Volkswagen, Volkswagen sponsor because we've got a lot of parts to buy for this, which will be cool. And obviously go and check out Frost. Um, everything is in the description for them. If you really like this build, please consider subscribing to the channel because yeah, it's just pretty cool, isn't it? We've got a lot to do on this. And uh, yeah, as you can probably tell, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. So catch you soon, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Okay.